All right, compressor's all built up. Gets the water out. In my eyes, too. Now I can put the master cylinder in. Let's see, what am I looking at? Right there. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. Pull back the bracket for the hydro boost and just get it over. Studs. Yippee! She's in. Don't forget to put the bracket on. Sometimes you do a job, you wonder, wow, that was so easy. And then you realize you forgot a major part that interferes with whatever you're doing, and you realize why it was so easy because you forgot something that gets in the way. I was once doing a transmission work on a 200 4R in my 84 Delta 88 at Mrs. CW. Right? Yeah, that's how I bought the car, but uh, I was working on the tranny. I said, oh, it's so much easier this time for some reason. Then I realized I'd forgotten part of the valve body or whatever it was. And no wonder I could get to the reverse servo piston or whatever it was. All right, the rest is boring. I'm just going to tighten the nuts. Have someone push on the pedal, put these lines on, bleed it, because there's a little bit of air in here. Just a little bit of air, not a lot. Nothing you can do to avoid it. Ah, do the five eighths. Turn the compressor off. Don't forget. So Mr. CW and I were discussing this summer's upcoming road trips, <laughs> or lack of road trips. And she doesn't want me to go to Palm Springs. Promise me you won't go. Oh man. She wants to go to Machu Picchu in Peru. I said, cake is interate. Go for it. I don't think there's any junkyards in Machu Picchu, so what am I gonna do? Climb up the side of a, an old Inca ruins? Not for me. I suppose it would be interesting, but it's gotta be $5,000 per person. So I could buy something out west. Yep, I'm sure she'd love that. So you put these pipes on and you push, you have someone push on the brake pedal as you're doing the last thread so that you try to get as much air out as possible. I gotta go find some volunteer. I just had a kid pass by with that Avalon gone. Students, they don't look at me, they don't say a word, they just march right on by, they have no interest as long as they got the music playing and whatever illegal activities. They're partaking and they don't want me to find out about nothing ever changes. There. Wait two minutes left. Gotta delete some videos. I hate to delete the videos from the rolling bones of Mr. Napa Corvair. Had a good time there. The only person I should have talked to that I didn't was the guy that drove 49 states in seven days in the 32 Roadster. I should have talked to him, that was dumb. Quite the accomplishment, and I just read about it and didn't do a thing. All right, I gotta go find somebody to help me. Push the brake pedal down while I tighten those lines up, get the air out. I'll find some sucker. All right, I found a sucker. <laughs> just press it once and hold it. Oh yeah, beautiful, don't let go. Nice, fresh brake fluid.
Hang on, one line bent a little bit. Give me one second. Thank you. Done? Yep, all done. <laughs> Compare this piece of junk to Gas Sub Wild's Progress. Never heard of a Toyota Progress. I guess he's never heard of a Toyota Avalon 1003. 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. i get bored of it one day, I suppose. Rig her up! Thanks. Now, do I have brakes? No. No brakes. No brakes. No leaks. No rusted fuel lines or brake lines, rather. That's why I have no brakes. Bleed using my pump leader, my midi back. Hmm. Interesting. Must have some air in the line, I guess. The cylinder, master cylinder, wasn't empty, and I don't have rusted fuel lines, so time to pop the bleeders. Give me a minute. 